I use Arch, by the way. Hello there. I installed Arch on my laptop though, on my second computer, not on the primary one. I have a lot of experience with Debian, with Debian operating system all the way, I think since 1997, uh, since version 1.3 was out. And I can't complain really about my Debian knowledge. I'm not the all knowing one. There's always more to learn, but I'm quite content with what I know so far and well, what I learned. And of course I want to learn more. But there are a couple of things that I have um, complaints about Debian and that's about something that's kind of in contrast to what Debian actually is to me. Because I am a Debian user because I like stability, I like, I like their philosophy of having stable set of packages. But some of the packages really should have been updated more frequently. So when it comes to kernel, for example, they have picked uh, in Debian 12, the latest um, long-term support kernel uh, at the time of the release, and that was kernel 6.1, and they are updating it fairly regularly when new patches come out. Maybe not the uh, every version that comes out, 6.1 point something, and then the next one, no, but maybe the ne after the three minor versions they update it and pull it into the operating system and this is perfectly fine, this works. And right now I am a KDE user, I'm using Plasma and what I liked when I installed Debian 12 for the first time is that they have chosen to install, to package uh, the latest long-term support version of Plasma and uh, this was uh, in my mind supposed to be functioning the way they are handling the kernel, right? But no they are stuck with one single version of Plasma and they're not actually using the long-term support capabilities of what the Plasma team is offering. So I am aware of some Plasma bugs in the latest Plasma version, but these bugs have already been fixed in the later patches, you know, of the long-term support version, which are not being pulled into Debian at all. You're stuck with bugs that have been here for a year and you're gonna st be stuck with them for another one. So that kind of sucks. And some of these things have made me rethink about what I really want about my operating system. And I'm not saying that Debian is not good and not good for me at all. I'm just saying that I'm doing my research and seeing what fits maybe more, maybe less. So another thing that bothers me with Debian is gaming. Basically all the games work. I don't really need newer drivers. It's not that relevant for, for what I play. However, sometimes you might want to, you know, use latest Mesa and then you're forced to go with Flatpak or with uh, the Snap version, which are inferior versions of Steam. And then I try to simulate Steam Deck environment by using Steam from uh, its own compositor and not from Wayland or from X11. And this kind of uh, got me a little bit stuck because I wanted to test HDR, which wasn't really available uh, in that version that was packaged with Debian. So I, it, it kind of made me want more than Debian would offer. I mean, I can compile everything, but that's not the Debian way. Then I could use any other distribution and not rely on Debian uh, stability and their ways of doing things, right? So that's how I came to Arch, right? And let me tell you, it was really smooth sailing to install it. I was afraid. I was really afraid that it's a really complicated distribution, like everyone is saying on the internet, right, like the most difficult distribution. I am not talking about Linux from scratch, but, uh, you know, Arch is really feared from distribution. You need to install it from the text console. You need to type commands. Whoa, I mean, what am I going to do now? What should I, what keys should I press? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it was really easy. You, you, uh, the whole thing is just boot up from the stick, 
make a few partitions, copy the base system on it, uh, decide which kernel you want, uh, decide which base applications you want, uh, install networking, uh, install grub or whichever other bootloader you want and reboot and voila, you are having a fully functional Arch Linux distribution. I mean, you can add, of course, the desktop environment or a window manager or, or whatever you want, but you have this minimal set of tools that are exactly what you picked from. It's really easy. I, I, I um, after after this experience since yesterday uh, until today, I am actually quite a bit puzzled about the word that has been tracking Arch Linux uh, as a difficult distribution. It's, ac it's actually quite easy. I'm actually uh, a bit uh, baffled by the talks about this distribution. Anyways, I get to try the newest uh, Plasma uh, thanks to Arch and it's uh, very worthy package managers and, and I'm talking about people, not the uh, software. And the latest Plasma is great, it looks great, uh, it, it, it works great. Uh, my bugs have been fixed uh, that I have had in version 5. I get to try the latest uh, cool kid on the block, which is a tiling window manager, uh, you know which one. And uh, I, I still haven't set that that one up, uh, but the the base thing about Arch is quite easy, and I might see myself using it for a while. I mean, for right now, I'm going to have it uh, only on my laptop and not on my production PC, because this one I really need to just work and be there for me and. After again some experience with Arch, you know, who knows? But I do want to hear from you Arch users. What do you think about Arch? I mean, why are you using Arch and why do you think I should be using Arch in the future? You're gonna see me in the next video.